Okay guys, so welcome back to another Scrappin' Irish video. Um, this one, if anyone that watches my lives will know that I got a nice big consignment of laptops and a few other little game consoles and stuff like that. Um, but if anyone knows, I really love doing laptops. Um, not, but um, I've got about 40 laptops to do as you can see there um, in total. So what I'm going to do for this video, I'm going to do a big scrap marathon of them. I'm not going to make you sit through all of the, the um, videos of them. What I'll probably do is scrap on out completely and um, video for you. And then we'll do the rest off camera and we'll see how, how much stuff I ended up with um, at the end of it. How many boards and then we'll probably break the boards down into each component. And uh, we'll see how much of chips I get, how much RAM I get, how much PCs and what whatever the stuff I have, pins and stuff like that I can get off the board. And we'll get a weigh-in at the end of it and we'll see what 40 laptops will have in weight for me. So you can see there by looking at it, I've just stored here at the moment and I'm going to start taking them apart. So we'll go down um, uh, and we'll have a look now at me taking apart. I might take apart possibly this one here. It looks like a, a fairly old Dell um laptop so it's got some old type connections on the back um parallel ports and stuff like that i think or well, whatever they're called is it a parallel port or something like that so it looks like it's one of the older ones um is it a let's see what windows is on it um it's a windows xp edition so we'll take that apart we'll have a look inside it and the rest of them i'll take apart off camera and um we'll see what i end up with at the end of it so check out the video guys carry and thanks for subscribing um, I really appreciate it um, and uh, it means a lot to me and anyone that comes into my live I really appreciate taking the time to come in and check out my live videos um, so let's go and take this laptop apart and we'll see what we end up with okay guys so um, I'm down to my uh, last laptop um, I'm just going to pause there for a second put on better, better lighting okay so uh, as I was saying this is the last laptop out of them 50 I think or 45 or something so I've gone ahead and removed a lot of the screws because you don't have to sit through me taking it apart I just want to show the last laptop uh, before we move on to the next part of the section of the video so I've removed most of the screws I think from the back if there's any left um, I just have to smash it out and of course there's one left somewhere or maybe it's on the front that it's left from I'll just take off the screen if I can because I thought I'd loosen them screws out but obviously not um, it's always one screw somewhere holding it in ah oh, yeah found it so I'll just take that one off that should help us remove this case, maybe not. I'll just pause it again guys and I'll find that last screw. It's always one, it's so annoying. Okay, so this time I think, um, well there wasn't one hidden screw because there was seven hidden screws underneath. So underneath the fans here there were screws hidden which made it a little bit more difficult. So hopefully this time we're going to get somewhere and maybe not. Sure, there's another screw hidden here somewhere by the looks of it or at the side no got out the side ones uh, I don't know guys this is why I hate laptops so much so I'll just try and remove it as best I can there we go so uh, got a little bit of RAM in it will be added to the collection of RAM you'll see in a minute um, so I just removed the board guys I'll add that to my other board so I just want to show you the last laptop I was finishing it up so I'm going to remove that board then we'll have a look at what I got from all the 50 laptops and then we'll move on to the next stage of the video so I'm just going to take that board off and we're going to stack up all my boards uh, we'll stack up the RAM stack up the CPU stack up um, anything else that is of value that I'll keep and then I'll process that down further and we'll see what we end up in the smallest components possible and I'll break it down as small as I can and we'll see what we have in the 50 laptops at the end. Okay guys, so now that I have uh, broken down the laptops, I'm left with uh, 45 or maybe between 40, 40 to 50 of these boards. I haven't counted them fully yet. 
but um, which will contain um, gold corner BGAs, will contain that I take off these pins, um, again on the back we have more pins in here, um, MLCCs somewhere there as well, we've got the IC chips, so I'm going to depopulate them and we'll see what we get from all them boards. I also have uh, these CD drives that would have been in them and again um, inside of them CD drives you have a little board which again will contain an IC chip and it'll have some MLCCs. It'll also usually be a little ribbon wire with gold fingers on it so that'll be processed further. I also got some graphics cards or um, of type um, peripheral boards on some of the laptops so again they have gold fingers, they'll have IC chips, they'll have MLCC so they'll be depopulated further. I also got the um, CPUs so again I remove all them pins so again we'll see how, how, how many grams of pins we get from them laptops. I also got a lot of these um, mouse pads that are built onto the um, onto the laptops. Uh, we also got a lot of RAM so again, the RAM will be depopulated for the chips. It'll take, I'll take the gold fingers off. So that'll be uh, processed further. We'll see how many grams of each we got there. Um, again, we've got some um, Wi-Fi cards. So again, gold fingered. And there'll be chips on underneath on these stickers. Usually we'll have some sort of chips. So there we go. So a flat pack chip there. And on the other side, what have we got? We'll have a heat shield thing and only that we'll have some chips as well so uh, they'll be processed further in the video so when you come back guys i'll have all my little tubs with everything in it with all my ic chips and all my vgas and all my um ram thing ram fingers trimmed and my ram chips and we'll see what sort of weights we got so it's just something we break them down further again there'll be these uh, type of connectors so we're used on them so again they have gold uh, end connectors on them so they'll be trimmed back take the connectors off sometimes you can just pull them straight out if you get a pliers and just pull them straight out pull the wire out away from them and they'll be processed uh, as well further down the line on more videos to come so that's it till we move on to the next time let's see what we ended up with guys let's see what sort of was worth all the effort um, at the moment it doesn't feel like it because I was sick of doing them, all the little screws, millions of screws, I'd say at this stage gone through there. Um, well, not millions, thousands. Um, so we'll um, see what we ended up with at the end. Okay guys, so I have now stripped out everything out of the uh, laptops so that I can see what I ended up with weight-wise. Um, so I've separated into like pins and pins from the CPUs and stuff like that. So it'll make it easier when we're going to do it. So you can see I've zeroed out the old scales there. We're just making sure it's gone to zero. So these, for instance, were the CPU pins. So I need the CPUs. I took the pins off them, and this is what I ended up with. So we'll just have a look. So I have 37 grams of CPU pins, which will go into my jar of CPU pins that I have here, which will bring up my total to, let me see what we have. Now there is a few odd bits that shouldn't be in there that when they when I was using the heat gun that took them off but I have 714 grams which is a nice haul of CPU so I'll just take out anything I can see there now like we have a nice C chip that shouldn't have got in there or a die actually off the um, off thing a few little rubber feet that were on the CPU so I'll be doing putting them into nitric um, to work it now I already have a video coming up on nitric with just some spurious pins that I was working on so that's kind of it so we'll try and get these back in here as best I can this is the bit that um, can be a bit hard work so what I'll do is I'll get a funnel to make it easier if I can find a funnel I should have a funnel somewhere um, from when I've been doing my gold recovery, guys. Sorry that I didn't have that prepared because I didn't plan on pouring them all in. Um, oh yeah, we have one here. So we have the funnel, so I can use that just to put these back into the into the jar and have them ready for. So even though I'm using the funnel, there's still some of them 
escaping out. What I'll do is I'll pause it there while I do this because we don't want to be holding you up and we'll move on to the next thing. Okay, so um, I put the pins back in the jar at last. It took a bit of effort, but um, so we've seen them out then. Then what I also have is I have these type of pins. These are like gold pins I've just taken from uh, the boards, um, connectors, stuff like that from it. So again, some of them are higher grade, some are lower grade. They're a mix, so 120 grams. So you can see there, there's some which are fully plated and some which are partly plated and some which are very, very, very little on them. So again, just put them back in the jar and they'll go in with the rest of my pins. Okay, so put them aside. Um, MLCCs, so again, these are the MLCCs I took from the board. So again, 23 grams of MLCCs. Again, as I say in all my videos, if people take notice, so, well, not all of them, but most of them, MLCCs can be hit or miss. You can get good quality from the older ones, the newer ones, not so good. So that's the MLCCs. Um, tantalums, I also removed the tantalums. So again, I'm not gonna bother weighing them because at the moment I've nowhere to sell them, but they're my tantalums. I'll keep them and put them with the rest of the tantalums. Again, I'd have some ceramic, um, ceramic crystal, crystal oscillators. So they're the ones with the little gold bands. So there's only a few, but they add up. They go into the pile with the rest. I also have these gold, gold pins. So these are more fully plated kind of ones I pulled off. But what I'm going to do with them is I have a, one running at the moment, um, a hydrochloric, or a hydrochloric nitric. So I'm going to just add these few pins to the nitric. You'll see that in a video coming up um, at some stage. Let me see what else have we got there. Oh, IC chips. So we have the IC chips that I've taken off. So again, we have 172 grams of IC chips that I took from the boards. Um, we have the gold corner BGAs. So these are your uh, the BGAs or Northbridge, Southbridge, whatever you want to call them, chips. So. Again, 165 grams of them. So they'll go in with the rest of them to be processed in a future video. Um, these are more gold pins and stuff that again, they I can't get them out of the actual plastic. They're just stuck in there. So I'm gonna process them with these other ones in the, ni in the hydrochloric acid or nitric acid, I keep saying hydrochloric, straight into the hydrochloric acid or nitric acid. And um, then I also have these gold fingers and uh, chips from the ram sticks and stuff like that. So these are like ram, uh, ram chips that I've removed. So they're a mixture of the, the both type of ram chips. I usually separate them out, but I didn't bother for this. So you can see there we have um, a nice amount of them. We're already up to 26 grams. So they'll be added to all my other um, other chips so I'll do that later I don't need to be seeing me separating them out but you can guess what you see what I'm doing so um, there be all the chips will be added and let me see what else we have from the computer from them laptops we have all these um, boards these are your mouse boards that were underneath the mouse pad on the um, actual computer itself so I remove all them and they'll be processed at later in a different video. So again, that's a video I'll be working on um, hopefully in the future, you'll get to see that. So guys, I think that's really it to show you what I took from the computer. So they were like the hard drive chips, everything was taken apart there, took apart the hard drive, CD-ROMs, took all the chips off, took any MLCCs off I could see. There's still another pile that I have to go through, kind of small stuff, which I didn't really want to go through on this video because it was going to take too long. So I've them uh, to sort, but they'll be sorted at a later date. I'm just taking these covers off the um, thing. So guys, um, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for hitting the like, thanks for subscribing. And uh, anyone that has shared it out, I really appreciate that. And anyone that's turning up to my lives on um, a Monday evening lives that I try and do, um, I appreciate you dropping in, even if it's only for 10 minutes, I really appreciate it. And um, until next video guys, um, I'll catch you then. So don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out and I'll see you on the next one. Keep looking for that goal guys.